Hi, in this video we are going to compare the two Galaxy Note devices, last year Galaxy Note 2 and this year Galaxy Note 3. So let's start the comparison. Let's first compare the one of the main feature of Galaxy Note series is the S Pen. This is the new S Pen which comes with a Galaxy Note series 3. You can see that uh, they have changed the way they were handling the S Pen earlier. Earlier it used to be a bit of a triangular fashion where on the back you have the curve and there is a flat thing in front. It was easy to hold. You can put your finger here or here and do writings along with the line. This time it is more of a square thing. It can do the same things for you and you can still write it like this. But as such touch and feel not much of a difference just the shape and style has been changed for that so i'm going to keep another one aside and we'll use this one because it will it's going to work on both of those things now let's see the handsets if you see the old handset and the new handset and let's compare it size by size you will see that there is not much of a difference between the thickness and height also let's see it's almost a similar size so size wise you don't feel any difference the dif where the difference is the way you hold this device the one thing which i can tell you is the way you hold galaxy note 3 is gives you a much more comfortable feeling because when you see the galaxy note 2 earlier it used to have this straight rim a curved rim and whenever I try to hold this device I have always feared that it's going to fall off from my hand because of the curved feeling and there is no th nothing good to hold on to the device and being the size of it with the Galaxy Note 3 it's different with the Galaxy Note 3 you have the sides which is actually marked and it's a bit more square so it's really easy to hold this device and do the work. I haven't, whenever I use Galaxy Note 2, I have always had a cover on it and Note 3, I am trying to avoid this thing. If you compare the backs, there has been a big change in the back. Earlier this back was a pure plastic feeling and if you show it to them, it doesn't look nice. But now with this leatherish premium look, it really look good you can tell that there are stitching you can check it out and in black color the stitchings are shining a lot so it actually gives you a totally different feel it's much more lighter than this now let's compare the screens so in this time you can see the water has been changed to the color so the effect is still the same the background has been changed but the screen of galaxy note 3 is a bit more crisp and clear and the difference is this is 720p and this is 108p so uh, you are bound to feel that difference out of that the response to the s pen is almost same so as such response time wise you are not going to see the much difference but now let's see in terms of benchmarks what's the difference is so I've run the benchmarks on both the devices and these are the numbers which I'm getting out from the benchmark this actually tells us that the device is round about 50% more powerful than the old Note 2 in terms of scoring. If you see the Galaxy Note 2 is ranking somewhere in the region of 20,000 and with Note 3 we are getting around 35,000. So those rankings tells us that this device has been a powerhouse and at this point of time there is no Android device which is matching that numbers not even HTC One and Galaxy S4 because both of them were in somewhere in 25,000 range. 
Now if you go to the device info, you can see that this device is actually running 4.3 rather than the 4.12, has a Xenos 5 Octa, 12 megapixel camera and there has been almost all kind of support for all the sen the it has the support for almost all kind of sensors earlier there was no support for ambient temperature sensor as well as relative humidity sensor which has been added in this device so you have that in there rest all is already there your support and then your gsm wi-fi bluetooth and other stuff you can see that this support also wi-fi supported gsm and all those other stuff is supported here you can compare the weight this is 180 gram and 180 gram so it's, it doesn't matter it's not going to check the weight so your rear camera is 12 megapixel but here it was 8 megapixel front is 1.9 now it has been changed to 2.1 and this can take around about one, 108 uh, photos from the front mega front camera you can take you can take a front camera as one uh, 108p photos from the one front camera the density has been improved a lot earlier it used to be 320 dpi now it's 480 dpi which is a very good view open gls 2.0 and now it's supporting 3.0 it's a 5.7 inch screen rather than a 5.5 screen size has been improved to 108p so those are those all are the changes which is there you can say you can see the ram has been improved from 2 gb to 3 gb and the memory size is inside has already been increased now this tells you earlier in note 2 you used to get from a 16 GB box you used to get around 10 GB to you now in 32 GB box you are getting almost 26 GB to you so these are the benchmark comparison between two devices the one thing which I have uh, missed in Galaxy Note 3 and I have talked about this in last one or two videos I'm going to talk about it again if you detach your S Pen you used to get this page buddy as well as if you plug in your ear plugs and other stuff you used to get this page buddy that has been taken off from galaxy note 3 so if i take out my s pen the thing which i get is a ear command and it's uh, it's something which you can customize in the settings but the page buddy has been moved on uh, they might have thought that not many people are using it so they might have removed it so as such in terms of functionality there has been a change but it's a OS software features which you will get in Note 3 I presume around November or to December time frame other than that the processing power RAM size and the whole feel and grip has been changed so if you are looking for an upgrade I will say it's a worth of an upgrade if you are due for otherwise I don't think you still have applications which are actually handle needing which are actually needing a device this powerful at this point of time there are not many applications who are going to exploit the whole octa core functionality and so hopefully this will give you an idea about the comparison between these two powerhouses.